Welcome back to the next section of traffic training. In this section, we're going to talk all about dynamic configuration and how we can add a label to a service or a container, then enabling routers, middlewares, and services. So how does that work? Well, dynamic configurations, as you see in the diagram, are on the right-hand side. So they come from the provider themselves. As in the left-hand side, there's a static configuration where it comes from actually traffic. We're defining traffic configurations. The dynamic configuration is actually configuring the service that we're, we're connecting to traffic. And it, what we do is we actually add a label to the service or container, and then we can enable a router, a service, middleware, certificates, and then in. Whatever's available in the provider, we can then add a label and define exactly what we want in the service. So by attaching a label to a service slash container, we can define routers, as we've seen in a previous uh, lab. We can also define middlewares, which we'll get into in a future chapter. And we can update configurations of a service. For example, in the previous lab, we enabled port 5000. We all did that through labels directly on the service. So we can configure the service ideally to our use case. Now, what does it look like when we add a label? Now, Again, we can have domain first and we can have the path here. Oops. Again, we can have domain first and then it routes using this label, traffic.routers container one, that's the user defined, then rule path equals first. And you can see the same for path second, path third, and we can define all these two labels. So all the dynamic configurations, we're gonna cover in the next section because we're gonna go into routers very deep and load balancers and services. And we'll keep on going into this because dynamic configurations is actually specialized by what exactly is the configuration. So for example, routers is a whole section. And as we start uncovering how the labels work, the provider actually adds more specifics that we can actually add to a container. So we can actually define more that we actually have available through the provider interface. So join me in the next section as we recap static configurations and dynamic configurations that we covered in this section.